Hello! Um, today is Sunday and it's 20 to 1. Still in my pyjamas. I haven't even cleaned my teeth yet. I just, it's taken me ages to actually get going today. But today I'm going to make Rice crispy squares, treats. going to make them, which I'm really excited to make because I crave something sweet every single day. So very excited. And then um, me and Eli might head out for a walk, maybe get our legs moving. And um, that's about it really. I spent the morning watching YouTube in bed, also trying to upload a vlog to go up this evening, but because the vlog is like 40 minutes long and our internet is shit, it's taking ages for it to upload. So I don't even know whether it's gonna upload in time for like five o'clock, but we shall see. But anyway, I've got some new flowers. I got these from Sainsbury's and they actually came with all these colours which I just love. I love having new flowers every week so that's why you saw peonies last time. But yeah, I don't know. I like to try and mix it up with all the flowers. Like I wanted to do, um, not necessarily do, but I wanted to pick a different kind of type of flower but sometimes they're just really expensive and I'm like, oh, I feel bad spending like £10 on flowers. So I just went for my norm, my normal flower and went for tulips, which I'm not gonna lie, I do love a tulip, but sometimes I just wanna experiment and try something new. Anyway, I need to get dressed and clean my teeth. <laughs> it's actually disgusting that I haven't done that yet. <laughs> and then, yeah, make Rice, rice crispy Squares. Probably gonna be really, really easy and not take that long to do, but hey ho. Actually, let me grab my cup of tea and I'll go and find something to wear. I think what I want to wear today is maybe the tie-dye jumper that I did last week. Oh, it's still hot. Hi, yay, yay. Yeah, I'm thinking this. The vlog that's going up today is me actually creating that hoodie. So I think it's only it's only right that I actually wear it for today's video. After I've got anything else to update you on. Yeah, I don't really have much to update you really. Apart from like, I've got fake tan on and look how bad it is. It's so patchy. Um, but it's literally because like, whenever I'm really anxious or stressed, my eczema starts playing up loads and I've just been scratching so much recently and I've kind of just scratched it all off. Um, but yeah, anything else? Oh, I did the, um, sorry, that was really, I tried the dressing gown curling hair technique thing. This is day two. So I'll leave a picture on the screen of what it looked like when I first did it. It was very like, and I did really, really like it, but it was so uncomfortable to go to bed in. Honestly, like because you obviously twist it around the belt, like this is really like thick and sticks out and I just, I really struggled to sleep. And then when I actually woke up, my hair was still technically damp. So I had to blow dry that, which Eli said that kind of defeats the object of the whole thing. Cause it's supposed to be like no heat curls. I think it turned out all right. And to be honest, I, I had to straighten these bits. I don't know why, but I always like these really straight. I don't like them when they're like really, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I had to straighten those bits, but everything else I kept wavy. So this is day two and it's actually not bad. The backs, actually no, I think the backs are right. Oh my god, I just realised you can see a huge pile of washing right there. Maybe if I just stand here. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's get dressed. I can't be asked, but I need to. Also, I just watched Kate Hutchins' video about like vision boards and law of attraction and everything. And I've never like ever heard of that before. And after watching that video, I was like, oh my God, I actually really just like wanna just give it a go and like create loads of vision boards and stuff. So yeah, I might try that later. I've never heard of it. So I feel really like kind of new, I guess. I don't know, like it's all kind of brand new information. So I'm gonna do like a little bit more research on Google and stuff and see what comes up and what it all says. And yeah, I don't know. I kind of love stuff like that. So I'm really excited to give that a go, just to find out more about what it is. Um, look at that fake tan. Oh my god. Okay, I've been distracted. 
which is a normal thing. We were just looking at the plants and they kind of really need a water. So we've kind of come to the realization that now that we are into spring and the weather's a lot more warmer, we do need to start watering our plants more. So every Sunday I need to water the plants. I'm just doing that now. I was debating whether I should actually do like a video about all my plants, but then I was like, is anyone actually gonna care or watch that? I don't know. <laughs> Eli. Yeah. I don't think uh, Yeah, I'm really struggling. I don't think that one's even worth watering. I think that one's gone, mate. Well, I don't know why all our ivies. Every other plant's doing well, but the ivies doing shocking. Yeah, all of our ivies have done really, really bad. We just can't figure out why. Like this one used to be so healthy, and it's just really dry again. And like whenever we Google it, I think you Googled it, didn't you? And you said like it's either underwatering or overwatering. Did, was that correct? Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. And it's just like, what the hell? So like, we just don't really know what we're doing wrong. And also this cheese plant is starting to look really, really sad. So I'm like, shit, do we need to try and replant that into a bigger pot? But we don't have a bigger pot. Okay, is that all of them in here? Right, now into the bedroom. Got our Boston fan here. This one's doing quite well, actually. Then have a yucca plant. Which is this one and then we've just got this little one here which has actually got lots of new buds on it which i never thought it would i kind of thought this one was dying my aloe vera plants are actually doing really really well as well like i kind of forget about that one like i pretty much neglect it but surprisingly it's doing all right loads of new little buds i need to clean it though because it's really dusty this one's fake, so that doesn't need it. Are there any others? Oh no, I haven't done the cheese plant. <laughs> yeah, it's just looking really sad, so I'm just gonna give it a really good drink, water. Here you go. Here is my outfit. Just gone for comfort. But yeah, my tie-dye hoodie, guys. I actually still love it, still obsessed. Anyway, right, so this is the video that I'm trying to upload. Look, it's on freaking 58% and it's quarter past one so i don't think this is gonna actually upload in time which is annoying but it doesn't matter so here's the recipe for the marshmallow squares let's just ooh, grab this <laughs> bring this over here i don't have enough hands let's put this here is this better you can't really see my face but i don't know okay so, oh, the only thing, oh my god, the only thing that I don't have is vanilla essence. Do you reckon that's a big deal that I don't have vanilla essence, or is that okay? It's fine. Okay. So we need marshmallows, butter, but I'm just using this, because um, I don't want to use actual butter, otherwise Eli won't really be able to eat it, because he can't have lactose. Um, <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> And then the Rice Krispies. These are just cheap Rice Krispies from Sainsbury's, but I kind of really love the box because I kind of feel like they look really vintage. I don't know. Those, and then we're also going to need weighing scale, and a big pan, and a bowl. But first, I need to grease the tray. Oblong tin. I don't have an oblong tin. <laughs> oblong, that's a funny yeah, word. Throw in circle squares. No, I can make it into a square. I'm gonna just measure out the Rice Krispies first. Purely because this first step, I need to put the marshmallows and butter in a pan and I don't wanna get butter all in the dish. Weighing dish, weighing scale dish. So yeah, that's my reasoning. Anyone else find that these silicon phone cases are great? But they just like get everything stuck to them, like any little bits of crumb or dust or bits. Just I don't know, I just hate it. And then the phone case just feels really like bitty and grainy. Guess what I'm making? I might do a marshmallow gif. That's so cute! Cute. There we go. Right. Um, so we need. 175 grams of Rice Krispies. Okay. Oh my god. 
So I'm just going to chuck the Rice Krispies. Oh my god, is it going to... Ah, I dropped one. Jeez, that's a lot of Rice Krispies. Right, okay. We need 250 grams of marshmallow. I picked up this bag, which is 400 grams. Um, so I'm going to have some left over, which I'm excited about. Oh my god, look, Eli. It's like it's freaking meant to be. I matched the, mars the marshmallow packaging. Oh my god. I have to document this shit. 100, no, 250 grams. That's a lot of marshmallows. I'm going to throw a marshmallow into it, like, and catch it. I'm scared. I'm scared, Eli. Let's do it. Oh! <laughs> Forwards, okay, then. Oh, okay, God. let me try again. Ah. Oh, oh, that nearly went in the coffee cup. I'm gonna see if I can throw it up and catch it. I never normally can. Did it. I'll right, do that. Come on. Mm. No, you're gonna me one. But from there, yeah, that's really fucking far it's away. Fine. Just give it height. Yes. Mmm, 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 mm. we did it, we did it. Right, back to bacon. Marshmallows, done. Place 200 grams, right, so these all in the saucepan. And then now I need to do the butter, which is 100 grams. Ah, perfect. So I'm just gonna put this in there. So I need to place over medium heat and cook until the butter and marshmallows have melted. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I've still got a few lumps of marshmallows, but I don't really mind that. But basically, I started melting the marshmallows and the butter together, and it looked like it was splitting. Like, I was like, shit. The marshmallows and the butter just wasn't really, like, mixing properly, but if you give it a really good mix, like, continuously, it kind of does blend all into one. Um, I'm just going to add the Rice Krispies now. So this is the current situation. I've only put half in. Oh, it's really hard on my left hand. Ugh. Don't look at that. You just have to gently mix it, otherwise it goes everywhere. I've literally just balanced you on my sofa. Um, but the Rice Krispies are all done. I think is that I've eaten so much marshmallows whilst doing it, and I licked like the saucepan and the spatula and my hands. So now I feel really sick of marshmallows. <laughs> I feel a bit like, ugh. But I don't know how long it's gonna take for them to set because the ones that I've just done are like proper gooey. Like there's a lot of marshmallow in there. It's very, very sticky. So it might take 30 minutes or more. But I'm just going to carry on waiting for this video to upload. We need better Wi-Fi. Um, but I need to edit lots of pictures and go for Instagram comments and all that jazz. So I'm going to do that now. And it's five to two. It's a bit shit weather today. It's not as sunny as it normally is. But to be honest, like me and Eli, we don't really go out for walks. We only ever go out when we have to do a food shop. So this is like a little treat for us if we actually go out for a walk. <laughs> okay, it's probably been like half an hour and the Rice Krispies are still very very sticky so i'm gonna leave them a little bit longer but it's now half two and i'm absolutely starving i haven't really had any lunch yet so i think i'm going to make just some avo on toast because i love avocado and it's pretty easy although i did cut myself yesterday trying to cut the avocado it it looks tiny but honestly like the cut goes pretty deep um so i need to be careful i don't cut myself again <laughs> Avocado, thanks. And the plate, gosh, I really need a wee. Do I go for a wee or do I just wait? Mmm, I might have to go for a wee. Cut this. I'm so cautious cutting this now because I feel like I'm scarred for life from my wound. So, trying to decide what I should start watching again. And I can't decide whether to watch friends from the beginning again beginning again 90210 or desperate housewives now i've obviously already seen friends like multiple times and i've already watched 90210 like i used to watch it on the tv when it was being released um 
but I haven't seen all of Desperate Housewives. Like, it's quite funny actually. When I was in high school, I think, Mum used to start work the same time that I kind of used to start school. So she would always put on Desperate Housewives when getting ready in the morning. And I remember I always used to quickly get ready and then go sit in her bedroom on the bed watching Desperate Housewives. Um, so I feel like I've kind of seen a few episodes, but I think I've missed out on quite a lot. So I don't know whether to start watching that because I feel like that might be quite good. But then I'm like, oh, well, I prefer watching 9210 again because that'll bring back like, I don't know, memories? I'm not sure. Oh no, I just ripped the skin. Ah. I really can't do avocado very well. Do you ever see it when like people just have like the perfectly sliced avocado? And I'm like, how the hell did they do that? It just slips all over the place for me. I don't know. Let's mush this up. At least the, um, the avocado is very, very soft. So it's quite easy to mush up, I think. Now, when I first tried doing um, smashed avocado, it wasn't ready to eat, it wasn't very soft, um, but I was just really impatient and it was literally like rock solid and I struggled so much to mush it up all together. I might just put the toast on. Great start. Add some salt, a little bit of flavour and then I always do some crushed chilies. I did quite a lot of these yesterday actually, but oh, I've done quite a lot again today. Oh well. Oh, that sound. There it is. Give it a taste. Oh, delicious! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking made me jump. I asked um, some people on my Instagram to do assumptions about me and it's actually kind of funny the pe things that people are saying. I don't, obviously I don't want to look at them too much but just keeping an eye on them. Let's have a marshmallow. Um, but yeah, some of them are quite funny. I was very wrong as well. So that video should be pretty coming soon. Um, I don't know when actually because I've got, maybe this one will go up on Wednesday. And then assumptions could be Sunday. Maybe this one could be Sunday and the assumptions Wednesday. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's coming up. I want to do more hauls. Like, I want to do a big H&M haul or a Zara haul. But I'm honestly just not finding anything that I like at the moment, which is really, really annoying. Well, it's not because it means I save money. But I kind of want new clothes. <laughs> Yeah, it's dawn. Bought all my toast. Do you know what? With the whole TV series, I'm not to watch. Well, they were saying that we still need, you know, we still need to um, finish watching Marvel films. The reason we stopped watching all the Marvel films is because basically the next one that we have to watch is Civil War. And I hate that film. I hate watching it. I've only seen it once. And I mean, it took me what? I mean, when did Civil War come out? It came out a while back and I only watched it last year, I think. I don't want to watch it because Iron Man gets hurt and I freaking love Iron Man um, and Captain America. I used to hate Captain America, but then I watched the first film of him and it's actually given me a lot of respect for him. Although I still don't appreciate him beating up Tony Stark, so. Spread it around on the toast. I love this colour though. It's such a nice green. So much avocado. I always use a whole avocado for myself. Is that really? Oops. I might just add a few more chili flakes. There we go. It's not something that you'd quite see in like a restaurant, but it does the job. Avon toast. I started an episode of Friends this morning. Um, literally the very first one from the beginning. So, I'm just going to finish this episode whilst eating me avo. But yeah. So, it doesn't seem like we're going to be going out for a walk because it's raining. Yeah. Um, 
but like I mentioned I have lots of pictures I need to edit and I want to reply to lots of Instagram comments so I've decided to put on a film and I've chosen Coco which is on Disney Plus I've never seen Coco and I do love a good Disney film so I'm gonna try it out and my sister recently watched it and she said Chloe you need to watch it because it's really really good so that's what I'm doing still waiting for this freaking video to upload I don't think it's gonna be up by five that's fine <sighs> don't stress but yeah I'm just gonna watch Coco and I'll tell you my thoughts afterwards I'm sorry I couldn't help it but I'm watching a film and I want something sweet so I've just cut the Rice Krispie squares and I'm gonna do a little taste test they are good so I'm just gonna cut myself a little square to have when watching the film and get back to watching Coco I always do the most unflattering angles when I try and vlog. I need to hold up here or something, but my arm aches. I can't believe it's raining. It's such a miserable day. Right. Coco time. Okay, so I just finished watching Coco. And sorry if you can hear you in the background. He's just on FaceTime um, to his friend discussing uni work. Um, but yeah, like honestly, I thought it was such a good film. Like, honestly, I, f I feel emotion. I felt really emotional when watching it, especially near the end. Like, it's just such a lovely film, and it's so like loving all your family. And I don't, oh, oh, yeah, really enjoyed that film, and it was so good. But I finally got round to cutting all the Rice Krispie squares, and look, put them on my little gold cake stand. But I still have lots of pictures that I need to edit and. I didn't really start any comments because I just have so many photos that I need to edit because I did like a big photo day the other day and yeah it's a lot of pictures um so I'm still working my way through that so I think I'm going to watch another film I haven't decided which one yet but yeah just thought I'd update you on Coco and the Rice Krispie Squares square. literally they're like <gasps> oh my god Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's stuck. Yeah. So I've just finished watching Christopher Robin and oh my god, it's such a good film. Eli was at the desk um, working and he could hear me just laughing to myself. Because honestly, it's so cute and so funny. Um, so if you do get a chance to watch that on Disney Plus, then please watch it because I, I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. But I don't know what to do now. Eli is cooking sausage and mash for dinner. I don't know what you can do. Obviously, it's going to be veggie sausages. Um, so I'm so excited for that because obviously it's really like grey and gloomy outside. So I'm very excited for some kind of very warming grub. No, not grub. What is it? It's like, it's like kind of like pub grub food. Just very like, co that's comfort food. That's the word I'm looking for. It's comfort food. So yeah. What is it you want me to do, Eli? Peel You want me to peel the potatoes? Also, I've just discovered my hoodie has a hole. I think it's because at first, I've, well, Eli said it might be because of the bleach, but if you look really closely, I don't think the stitching's properly done. Can you see? They were pretty cheap, weren't they? Yeah, like to be fair, this was this hoodie was actually like ten quid off Amazon. The quality probably wasn't amazing. So I'm gonna try and sew that up as well, but slightly annoying. I'm excited to do more pastel tie dye though next week. Very excited. I wanna do a pastel green and then and then also like a pastel purple. I want a Winnie the Pooh, Eli. I get one. Yeah, but I want a real one that talks to me. You said this when you watched Paddington as well. I just like cuddly bears. Yeah. I, I absolutely love Paddington so much. And now I've fallen in love with Winnie the Pooh. I used to kind of watch it when I was younger, but this Winnie the Pooh in the most recent film is just the most adorable thing ever. And I just, oh, I just want to give him a cuddle. Obviously he's not real, sad times, but it's fine. And it's still raining, it's still raining outside. We haven't gone out for a walk, but 
Okay, I've literally just been inside the whole day. I've probably filmed nothing interesting at all today. 